Eurydice, Eurydice, beloved shade, where are you? Your husband weeps, begs the gods for you, and asks for you among mortals. Yet scattered to the wind are his tears and his laments. your way to the shadowy abyss. Have you courage enough for this extreme trial? Who is this who draws near to us through the gloom of Erebus in the footsteps of Hercules and of Pirithous? If with your singing you can placate the furies, the monsters, and pitiless death, you can take back your beloved Eurydice with you into the light of the day. Wretched youth, what seek you? What is your purpose? He dwell not, but grieve and lamenting, in this fearful, mournful regions. Love will assist you. Orpheus, Jove has taken pity on your grief. It is granted you to pass the sluggish water of the Lethe alive. Oh, How clear the sky, how bright the sun, how new and serene is this light. What sweet enchanting harmony do the songs of birds, the purling of the streams, the murmur of the breezes make together. If he cannot find his idol, there's no hope for him. Come to the realms of bliss, great hero. Hades and Persephone return Eurydice to you. Already she revives and recovers all the flower of her beauty. Forbidden is the sight of Eurydice, 
until you are beyond the case of the sticks. Otherwise, you lose her again and forever. And you will live unhappy and pray to your fierce desire. Think on this. Farewell. That was the deep uncanny mine of souls, like veins of silver ore. There were cliffs there, and forests made of mist. There were bridges spanning the void, and that great grey blind lake which hung above its distant bottom like the sky on a rainy day above a landscape. In front the slender man, mute patient looking straight ahead. In large greedy unchewed bites his walk devoured his path. His hands hung at his sides, tight and heavy out of the falling folds. Behind, a woman so loved that from one liar there came more lament than from all lamenting women. And when, abruptly, he has turned around. Far away, dark before the shining exit gates, someone or other stood, whose features were unrecognizable. He stood and saw the small figure already walking back along the path, her steps constricted by the trailing grave clothes, uncertain, gentle, and without impatience.